Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This lesson is only for Beanworks system administrators who use our payments module to make payments. Only system administrators can set up vendors for payments. If you need to make a payment in Beanworks to a vendor that is not yet onboarded for a payment method, click on the gear icon in the upper right corner to start this process. You'll be on the general settings already. Click on the list management option in the left menu. If you have more than one ERP database connected to Beanworks, select the legal entity the vendor is in. Then make sure the vendor list is selected. Search the vendor you want to add using the search box. Once you find the correct vendor, press the edit button at the end of the line. A new pop-up will open. The payment methods you're using will appear on the right. Typically, each vendor will be onboarded with one payment method, but in some rare cases, they may have more than one. Select the payment method you want to onboard that vendor with. For check, it's important that you check the address for the vendor on the left side. The vendor address must be complete and accurate. If it's not complete, update the vendor address in your ERP, sync the new details over to Beanworks, and then go back into the settings area for this vendor to confirm the changes that have been applied. Once complete, choose Yes from the Enabled dropdown. For checks, you can optionally choose to also send a remittance email if you want vendors to get an electronic copy of the remittance and specify the email address. This is not mandatory as the checks will be mailed with the stub and all relevant information. The final step is to check the box to confirm the address and email are up to date and accurate before clicking Save. OK, next let's talk about ACH, which is also known as EFT depending on the country. Moving money from one bank account to another electronically is called EFT in Canada and ACH in the US. Click on the payment method and choose Yes under Enabled. You'll see two options for this payment method, and you can use either method on a vendor you onboard. If you have all the vendor's banking details, choose the method Direct Deposit and enter that information into the corresponding fields. Add a remittance email address and press Save. If you do not have the vendor banking details, press the Email button and enter in their remittance email only. With the email method, the first time you make a payment to that vendor, an email will be sent to the email you provide to ask them to set up a VersaPay account. They will enter in all their banking details themselves and confirm their account. This is a one-time process for the vendor. Once the account has been set up and confirmed, future payments to the vendor will go directly to their bank account, and they will not need to take any additional steps or log into VersaPay. Next is the virtual credit card option. All you need to do is set Enabled to Yes and enter in a remittance email address. The vendor will be emailed the unique virtual credit card number each time a payment is made to them. Finally, if you need to send a wire payment to a vendor, click on the Wire option and again enter in a remittance email address. There are some additional steps specifically for wire payments, and you should work with your implementation specialist to go through and understand the entire process. Once you've finished onboarding a vendor for one or more payment methods, press the Save button. OK, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please contact Beanworks Support at support at beanworks.com.